Dear learners, let me introduce myself first. I am Radhika, Academic Officer, Information and Communication Technology. First of all, I compliment you for choosing Data Entry Operations subject. As we all know, computer has become indispensable part and parcel of our lives. This course is tailor-made for people like you and now I will briefly take you through the contents of the lessons. Basics of computer. In this lesson, you will learn about computer organization, different types of input and output devices, software and its classification, distinguish between system software and application software and also about computer language. Operating system lesson will let you know about desktop elements, locating files and folders, change system setting, file management in Windows, installation of hardware and software. The third lesson basics of word processing will let you know about how to start word program, basic menu details of MS Word 2007, create, save and print new word document and how to protect your word document. The fourth lesson, formatting documents will let you know about how to format text and paragraphs, insert bullet and number list, copying and moving text. Also this lesson explains you about how to do page formatting and insert tables. The fifth lesson is mail merge. In this lesson, you will learn about types of document in mail merge, create data source, create mailing labels and merge data into main document. Sixth lesson is basics of spreadsheet. This lesson will let you know about features of Microsoft Excel 2007, modifying a worksheet, resizing rows and columns, formatting worksheets. This lesson is about how to do format sales, format rows and columns and format worksheets using styles. Also, this lesson will let you know about protect and unprotect worksheets, formulas, functions and charts. This lesson explains about use formulas to get the desired result. Insert and edit picture from a file, use functions, insert various charts and draw graphics using clip art. Creating presentation. Here you will learn about basic features of PowerPoint, create presentations, generate slides and add text to slides, insert charts and graphics, add sound animation effects. We explained to you the concepts of each lesson through small videos. We also showed how to use various office applications. At the end of each lesson, we have given some objective questions. You can attempt those and check your answer. Let me also tell you that me reading of applications through books or online is not enough. As we all know that to master the use of any application, you need to do more practice on equipment and in this case your computer. After completion of this subject, you will be in a position to define basic components of computer system, create and format documents, merge your document with data, insert and modify spreadsheets, format spreadsheet, insert formulas, functions and charts in your spreadsheet, create presentations, add sound and animation effects to your presentation. Now, I will let you know about the scheme of examination in detail. You will be appearing in one theory and one practical examination. Theory examination is for 40 marks. Practical examination is for 60 marks. As practical examination is carrying the maximum mark of 60, you have to do a lot of practice in creating and formatting documents working in spreadsheet and making your presentation etc. The tutor marked assignment is for 20 marks. A minimum of 33 percentage marks in the aggregate theory plus practical in the public examination is required for completing this subject. I am confident that you will enjoy studying this subject through MOOCs. I hope you will find this subject informative, interesting and useful. I wish you all the very best for your bright and successful future. Thank you.